team, I'm Crystal and this is Tabata Core number two. So if you are new to my Tabata series, welcome. All of my Tabata workouts are based off a true Tabata formula. So that means we're gonna work really hard for 20 seconds and then immediately we're gonna get 10 seconds to rest. We're gonna do that for eight rounds. After eight rounds, we'll switch to a new exercise with about 40 seconds in between in order to recover, come back stronger, and set us up for success. Our exercises for today are hovers with walking knees, shootouts with a double pulse crunch, fire hydrants, fighting crunches, plank with side toe taps, and air planes. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Tabata. Here we go with it. So we're gonna start today, guys. Hover with walking knees. Come on down to the ground, and we're gonna set up with the elbows under the shoulders, bracing the Welcome belly tight, Tabata. and just pushing into our forearms. Are you ready? I'm ready. Five, four. All right, so here's three, the deal. We're just gonna lift one, one leg, go. extend, and then draw and switch sides. And we're maintaining a forward lean here. And if we want a little more challenge, we can pop up onto the toes, dropping one knee, and then the other. All right, hold, shake it out. We got seven more rounds, so you know the options. Pick what's right for you today. And no matter what option you're in, we're squeezing our belly tight as we lean forward to create more muscular engagement through the abs and through our shoulders. Beautiful. Feeling strong? Round three. Round three. And let's make it better, right? So you can stay at that slow, steady speed, or you can start to chase the beat. Working the abs a little harder and feeling that delicious challenge through the arms and through the midsection. And let's shake it out. Round four. Round four. So, five. What four, speed is right? Three, what can you one, give me? Because the faster you move with proper technique, the more demand we put on the heart and lungs, and that helps improve our cardiorespiratory system. So that's pretty cool. And if that's not right for you, do it slower and just focus on technique. So a lot of different ways we can switch it up for what's right for our body today. Three, two, one, go. And maybe you dial it back, or maybe you turn it up. It's all about what 100% looks like for you during this 20 seconds. And every round, that's gonna look a little different. Round six. Feel that fire? Three more Five, rounds to put some four, gas on it. Three, two, one, and let's go. go. And can you catch that beat? And the answer might be no. And that's okay. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Breathe into the body. Round seven. And give me two more, right? And we're here together. Three, two, one, and maybe go. you dial it back. That's okay. Is that what 100% means to you right now? That's cool. But if you got more, I want it. Come on. Shifting. Feel that difference. And I want one more round. So last round, last best round. One. Lean in, big squeeze, Five, big results. Four, three, two, one, go. And we do it together because it's so much sweeter. Are you with me? Can you squeeze a little deeper? Can you work a little harder? Come on. 
chase it. Done. Beautiful. Shoot out. So double pulse crunch is where we're headed next, team. Meet me there when you're ready. Grab water if you need it. All right, guys, so chest to the ceiling. I'm gonna show you a couple different options. And no matter what you choose, we're gonna try to get high with the shoulders. So really work the interior core in our work today. Sound good? Cool. And we're gonna channel our inner Brittany. So come with me, two pulses at the top. And then we're gonna shoot out our legs to 45 degrees. And if this is a little too much, you can just bring the legs to 90 and drop and lift. And if you want more, we can bring the arms along for the ride. Hold, awesome. So breathe, a lot of options. What feels right for your body? Together, let's go, push. And the higher and tighter we get through the shoulders, the deeper we get into the anterior core. And that's how we shape and tone through our midsection. Give me crunches one more time. And reset, because we got more to give. So it's all about what does 100% look like for you? And that might mean you're not with me and you're slower and that might mean you're taking the lower option and that is perfectly fine all right guys three down five in the tank and we got this together go higher longer so by pressing out of the toes and out of the fingertips. We're actually lengthening the body, recruiting more muscle fibers, and that's gonna help us burn more calories from the same work we were gonna do anyways. I love it, this feeling. Nothing like it, right? So check in, let's go. Push, and I want you to think about the ribs, pushing to the hips as we lift the shoulders away from the ground. Can you feel that difference in muscular engagement through your core? Beautiful. Shake it out if you need. Take an extra round recovery if you need. But if you got it, check in. Go! So can you lift an eighth of an inch higher? Can you shoot out just a little further? Because all of these small adjustments lead to big differences in our fitness level, in our body. Woo. <laughs> so good. Three, two, Come on. Push. Because y'all know. The closer we get to the finish line, the harder it becomes. So check in to whatever 100% means to you right now. So I want one more round. And I know you got one more. Come on. So do you need the low option? That's okay. But maybe you're up here. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're somewhere in between, right? But we get higher, we push out further. Emptying our gas tank in this moment. Come on, one more, one more. Finish it. Done. Done. Pull yourself up, hug your knees, grab water if you need it. Fire hydrants is where we're headed next. So when you're ready, start to make your way towards a four point prone position. And all that means guys, we're gonna stack the knees under the hips 
and we're gonna stack the wrists under the shoulders. Bracing the belly tight here. And we're gonna have some fun. Welcome to All right, my friends, so we're gonna work the outside of the hip, inside of the thigh, and a Five, little bit of the glutes. Four, right three, leg two, is gonna one, lift, go. and we're gonna keep this bend in the knee, so the leg has a 90 degree angle. And we're just feeling this external rotation as we lift our knee high and wide. And yours might not look anything like mine. So maybe you're down here. That's okay. We all look different because we are all different. So once again, maximum effort, maximum results. Same size. Up, down. And we're leaning forward and we press into the palms to make the abs and shoulders work at a higher level as we lift and drop. Three, two, one, stop. Two more rounds, two more opportunities Round three. to build and shape. So Five, check in four, three, and let's two, get after one, it. Go. So what tends to happen is we shift all the weight into the supporting leg. By trying to keep the weight evenly distributed through both sides, the abs are forced to work harder to stabilize the hips. Can you feel that difference? Yeah. All right, one more time. So this round, I'm gonna give you a little burst of speed for some intensity. Same side, high and tight, pulse, go. And we stay in the top two inches. And we squeeze the belly tighter as we're squeezing through our glutes. Yes! Come on, push through. Come on, feel it all. Reset, yes. So we're gonna do it all on the other leg. Copy and paste, right? Squeeze the belly, reset. And open. Close. All right, so can you lift the knee just a little higher while keeping the hips square to the floor? And that changes everything, right? And what we tend to find is one side totally different than the other. And that's perfectly okay. Come on. Are you leaning to one side? How did I know? Can you lift just a little wider? Can you feel that fire? And can you take it just a little further? Beautiful. Take what you need, adjust accordingly for where you are in the set. Come on, push. and we push deeper into the palms, and we feel the fire. Radiate through the arms and the core. That's the result. Three, Stay two, with me. One, one more time, so you know it. Last if you one. want the speed, high and tight, Five, big burn. Four, three, two, one, and go. And once again, guys, this might be totally different than what you did on the other side, but I just need maximum effort for where you are right now. Come on. Never easy. Wasn't designed to be. Done. Yes. Beautiful. Grab your water if you need it. Fighting crunches is where we're headed next. All right, guys, so what we're looking for, feet to the earth. The feet are gonna stay on the earth the entire time today. We're gonna have the heels close to the butt, and we're just gonna have the chest facing the ceiling. Knuckles come to the side of the cheek, and let's sit up. Welcome to Tabata. Welcome Here to we Tabata. Go, All right, so we're gonna start Four, slow. Three, so two, pay attention. One, Here we go. go. Up, and we're just gonna rotate through the chest, 
throwing a right left and then a left right punch. Big knuckle to the same target on both punches. And you might be down here and that's okay. All right, cool. So, two different options, right? Adjust for what's right, but the feet stay grounded as we lift and lower. Feel the abs engage, and let's go up. So what I'm really looking for is the rotation through the chest as we hit our target. Because not only are we working through the interior core, but the obliques are shaping and toning. Hold. Reset. And if you need to take a round to recover and skip around to work, that's okay. Adjust for what's right. But if you got it, come with me. And you can add a little bit of speed by pulling the plastic a little bit faster in the punches. And that's going to give us a nice little cardio kick. Or not. Hold. And if you start to slide back, readjust during those breaks, right? Because we got a lot of movement and momentum working here. Three, two, one, go. And if you just slow it down, that's cool too. Breathing in through the nose, out of the mouth, and making the twist a little bigger to burn more calories. Feeling good? Halfway. Halfway. So check it with me. Because you got more, and I want it. Because whatever you got, when you give it to me, that determines the results you get. So can you give me a little more twist? Can you give me a little more lift? Three rounds. Three opportunities to build your mix section. So let's go. The feet do not lift. Portion of the feet as you lift through the shoulders. And precision. Every punch lands in the same place. Beautiful. Two to go. Push down, lift, up, twist. And a little more pep and a whole lot more roll. Because you can. How does your belly feel? Couple more, team. So you got one more round. And you might be running off fumes but you're still running. So come along with me for this ride. Go! Because I want whatever's left. Because it's never about perfection. It's always about progression. Fighting through the fatigue. Finding the results. Yes. Grab your water. We're gonna meet at plank with side toe tap when you're ready. All right, a lot of options today, guys, but we're gonna start on our knees, wrists under the shoulders, abs tight, and we're leaning forward. Like we're looking over the ledge of the mountain, so the hips are square to the floor. If this is too much for your wrist, you can do all of it down here and I'll have Here we go with five. But we're gonna start with a so tap. Side toe tap, all three sides. Right? Left. And the weight stays shifted forward as you push into the palm and the toe comes out nice and wide. Awesome, guys. All right, so you can hang out on your knees the entire time today. 
or pop up on your toes, and I'll give you the challenge for the abs and arms. And we can also add a little kick of speed here, if it's appropriate. And if not, cut the speed in half. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. And I'm going to show you next round from the side. So stay with me. Adjust. Check in, right? All right, so check it out. A little more width on the toe tap is going to engage through the glutes and the outside of the hips at a higher level to give us better and faster results. Shake it out. So, slow and steady, or chasing the beat. Choice is yours. Because maybe it's becoming really challenging, and you need to drop back, and that's okay. Or maybe you got that kick. All right, so halfway. I'm going to show you another way to make it harder and advance the challenge. Voice is yours. When we come wide, the heel comes high. And now you can feel that squeeze deeper in the booty, even if you're down here on the knees. And maybe you need to slow it down. That's cool. All right, cool. So I showed you all the options. I've talked about speed. What do you got? Because you are in charge of your results. The effort you put in directly determines how you strengthen, how you shape and tone. Awesome, guys. Are you sweating? I'm sweating, but I'm still smiling. So let's get after it. And maybe you pop up onto the toes. Maybe you stay on the knees. But can you work a little harder? Can you bring the heel a little wider and shift forward, pushing into both hands? Almost there. Almost there. Yes, you can. And together, we're going to get it. Come on. Because we are so much stronger when we do it together. And this, my friends, is your final round. So what does 100% look like? Give it to me. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna come to the ground. We're gonna finish with some posterior chain work, finding our way to airplanes. All right, teams, check this out. We're gonna bring one arm under the body, and then we're gonna hook the other arm, and we're gonna bring it forward, and our head is gonna rest on our forearms, almost like a pillow. From here, we're now gonna open Welcome the arms wide the and just keeping the head neutral. And we're gonna fly five, together. Four, opposite three, arm, two, opposite one, leg, go. lift, and lower. And other side. All right, so what we're doing is we're peeling the shoulder from the arm. As we lift the leg high, squeeze it into our upper back and our glutes. Shake it out in child's pose, or take what you need, reset, and let's come back together. All right, my friends. And by lifting higher and squeezing harder, we're gonna get a lot more engagement through the back, and this is how we strengthen the entire back of the body. Come on. And it feels so good. 
So we all have different levels of mobility and strength. Round three. So maybe you don't look anything like me, Five, and that's okay. Four, three, two, so one, even if you're here and it's a micro lift, we're still lifting and finding the edge of what maximum effort looks like. Light up the back, baby. Yes. Awesome. What do you need? What can you give me? And if you notice, this thing is about sweet. It's about the squeeze and how far you can go. Lifting the chest as well as the leg to create more muscular activation through the entire back. Ladies and gentlemen, the medicine so you should keep your eyes on the ball so if you can lift higher i want it even if it slows you down halfway there yeah this beats ching like money three two one go this is and check this out the hand that stays on the ground push into the ground with that hole as you lift away and can you feel how that accentuates from your spine? I love it. Feel it. And let it go. Hard is what makes it great. Hard is what makes it work. Three, two, one. And we all know what we get when we do a tease. So in this moment, Let's find out what we get when we do what's hard. Come on. Two more, guys. Two more. And you might be running out of gas. That's okay. Whatever you got, lift. Drop. Because as long as you're still moving, you're still working, you're still getting results. So let's appreciate exactly where we are today. Come on, push. One more time. One more time. Yes. This is your final 20. Come on. Three, two, one. And we breathe in and breathe out. And I need to know how high can you go? How wide can you make the chest? And how hard can you work right now? Done, yes. Yes, awesome. Awesome job, guys. That is Tabata Core 2. I am Crystal from the Fitness Roommate. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you cool down. Congratulate yourself. Not only on making it to class, but making it through the entire class. And I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.